Hi there, my name's Kyle from Social Geeks Digital Agency. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a website that's fully e-commerce, uh, ready to go um, on Origin DShop, decentralized shops. Bit of background is that Origin is a blockchain uh, company that have tried to disrupt or are starting to disrupt the e-commerce space. Part of that is that they're launching free e-commerce stores that you can link up to your domain and uh, have it hosted for free. The reason I'm so excited about this is that rather than paying $30 US minimum for a Shopify store or hosting your own website on a server that costs you $10 per month, Origin actually hosts your website on their blockchain. Uh, so there are no fees besides your domain name. How cool is that? So it's even cheaper and easier than ever to set up your own e-commerce store online. So I've gone ahead and gone to their website uh, domain, which is the dshop.originprotocol.com where you can log in here. Now, if you don't have an account, you can simply sign up by clicking the sign up button below. I do have an account. I have a few actually. So I'm just going to use my password vault to quickly log in and get started. Now, if you're new to this, you won't see any store when you register. You'll just see simply add a store, which I recommend that you click. And when you click in there, you'll see something similar to this, most likely a uh, guide walking you through the things that you need to do. So. This is the back end of your website. Once you first log in and set up your store, you'll have to go through and configure everything uh, as expected. So some of the things that you'll need to do is connect your payment details. <coughs> now being a blockchain company, they do offer crypto wallets, which is quite cool. Uh, so if you're new to this, what is crypto? I highly recommend checking out some videos on YouTube on what cryptocurrency is. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. Um, but essentially, you can connect an Ethereum wallet to this um, to this platform and a bunch more as well. Um, you don't have to use crypto. Um, they do have connections to Stripe and PayPal, which are, are going to allow any types of payments from your from your customers for debits or credit cards, uh, Visa, Mastercard, and American Express. Stripe is fantastic. It also does Google Pay, Apple Pay, and things like that. PayPal, we all know what PayPal is, hopefully. Um, so you can link those up. You can also add manual payment methods. So if you want to do uh, bank transfers, you want to do a Swift code, you want to do uh, cash on delivery, you can add that in here quite quickly and easily. Now for our uh, website, the example here today, it's for a client who does local markets and, and uh, handmade crafts. Um, they are sending us the details for their Stripe and PayPal. We're going to set that up. So we're just going to leave this now and I'm going to disable cryptocurrency payments for them. So going back to the dashboard, there are six things that you need to do in order to get your website up and running. The first thing you need to do is set up your payment details. The next thing you need to do is verify your email address. So this is where your orders and things will be sent from. So it's just making sure that you're receiving notifications when you get new orders as well. The next thing you want to do is add your first product, which I've already done for this client. The next thing you want to do is set up your shipping uh, options. Now, the shipping options are fairly basic and you can't link it up, unfortunately, at this stage to any of the shipping fulfillment uh, partners. Like, you know, for us, it's like Australia Post or it might be for you guys, uh, something else. FedEx, I'm not sure. Uh, so that it is still a manual process. But when you're when you're paying nothing, uh, you know, that manual work uh, is, is something that you need to do, uh, especially when you're starting a new business. Um, so you also want to basically make sure that you have your name, your logo and images on your website. And then last thing, if you do want uh, different payment details, it says connect your crypto wallet, but you're, you're going to need to link up PayPal and whatnot. Now I've already gone ahead and linked this up. So what does it look like? Well, it's pretty basic, right? Because I've, I've, I uh, still need to get some like better resolution logos from the client, but what you can see here for the client is their website here. So scrolling down, we've got like an image, we've got some products. And again, these are just examples for today's tutorial. We can view all products. We can click into the product page and I might actually go back to uh, the other one. So you can have products here. You can choose different variations and you can add it to cart. They'll also show anything that you might like. So if there's other products that are in a similar vein, you can link those up. You can go to the view cart and you can check out. All right, so pretty pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now you can also apply coupon codes and I did one called free shipping, which applies and with the free shipping, you can say what the minimum amount for them to spend is in order for that to be uh, put through. So it works just like a normal e-commerce store and essentially is, is fairly basic. But if you're wanting to save money and you're wanting to get a website up fairly quickly, this is the best way to do it. 
So I've already gone through and added products, but you can see down here on the side that it's, um, you know, it's got a, f a bunch of different information here. The first thing that I would recommend is probably going through to your themes and picking one that you like uh, for your shop. Now this will probably grow over time. This is still in the early inception days, but you can see that there's four themes that you can essentially look at. So they have a minimal theme, which looks something like this. Very straightforward. I quite like that one actually. Oops. They have the active or the artisan uh, theme, showcase, and galleria. I quite like the uh, artisan for this client, but I'm kind of skewing towards minimal. I think that's quite nice, um, and I can see that working quite well for for this client. I might swap that over actually. I quite I quite like this one. <laughs> um, so you you can essentially uh, preview the theme if you want to select this theme. You can choose that. And the great thing about this platform is, is that until you have uh, confirmed that this is what you want to do, it's not going to publish your changes to the live website. So it still is basically just creating a draft of your products for now. Um, and then you can link it up later to essentially have things, uh, you know, changed over to that, to that, uh, for your customers to see live. I'm just going to swap it back to Artisan. So you can see what I mean. It's saying, your changes have not been published, click publish changes to make publicly visible. So only we can see these changes at the moment until we click the publish button and that's when those changes will be made. All right, so that's the first thing you can do is get those themes. Now, the next thing is clicking customize theme, you can make some alterations to your website. So what I've done is I've gone through and I've chose the rose clay color because I quite like that as the color options. Now at the moment, you can't customize much further than that, sadly. Um, it does look like there's only just these three color palettes. I assume that these will soon be editable so that you can change those colors uh, manually. For your header, you can choose your logo and primary menu. Again, I think that there's more options that will be coming very soon. And then for your homepage, you can edit the uh, text, images, and what products you want on the homepage. So again, very basic, but again, for a free e-commerce website that you don't have to pay any hosting for, I think this is a really good starting point. It's got everything that you need and it really does keep things simple. So for me, I have a lot of clients who might just struggle with, you know, doing these types of uh, things, managing their website. So I look for simplicity. Don't make it too complicated. Don't make it anything that you have to custom code. Otherwise it can cause headaches. So the about page, we can edit that image and add in some text. You can see here, I've just added in a little bit of uh, text here uh, just to, to fill it out. And then I was going to have a picture of the team there. Uh, I've just put in a product image for now. Um, so I might, I might swap that actually just to show you how easy it is. So I've just gone in here. I'm just going to swap it for the same image that we had on the homepage. It's a bit bigger as well. And you can see, there we go. So that's just swap the image, click save, and we've edited the about us page. So that's where you can edit your homepage and about us page in the theme itself. Very, very straightforward. It took me five minutes to kind of get things up and running there. Now, the next thing that we probably want to do is set up any products. So if you want to go into the product section next, you can add products in here. Now I've already got two in there. So I'm going to do an example product three, number three. I'll just put in a, uh, a bit of text there just for now. Let me just grab something. I'll just grab this dummy text. All right. I can add in a photo or photos. So if I wanted to, I could go uh, grab these three photos and add them in. You can add as many as you like. You can then add in uh, the price. So I'm gonna say 59.95 just for this. If you have variants like colors, sizes, anything of that nature, you can do that here. So I'll say size and we'll go small, medium, and large. All right, now each of those can have different sizes and you can add in your SKU ID number. Now, NFTs are a digital cryptocurrency product. So this is essentially um, a way to flag it uh, as an NFT. We don't need to do that. That's totally fine. So I'm gonna click save. The last thing to mention is that you can add a collection. So what is a collection? Well, essentially it might be like tea towels or it might be pot plants or it might be you know uh, bed linen. And then in that collection, you'll have the different products. So um, I'll put in a collection here now for tea towels so that we can see that there. And then you can see that this is now uh, showing the collection and I'll click save again. 
Now, I haven't published those changes, but if I wanted to preview them, I could click on the preview option, go to all products, and we now see example product number three. Click on that product. We've got different uh, photos in there, different sizes to choose from, and we can add that to cart really nice and easy. So see how quick and easy this program is. It's very, very, uh, I think, gonna, gonna be a fantastic tool for the future for a lot of people to use. So collections we went through just before, tea towels are there. So you can add collections manually if you want to. So we might say bed linen, uh, again, as an example. Now this client doesn't sell bed linen, but you know, I'm just trying to show you what, it, what, it, what you can do. And then you can add products to that. So if I wanted to, I could say, you know, example one, example two, let's add that there. Excellent. So now if I go back, you should be able to see, hopefully refresh. Don't know if I need to publish this before it shows up. So tea towels, it, yeah, need to publish that, but go to bed linen. You can see that these two products are in there. So that's collections. The next thing is discount codes. So I've already added in a free shipping code, but you can add in manual discounts or automatic discounts. So these are essentially coupon codes. So I'm just gonna say example. You can choose whether that discount code is active or inactive. So this is essentially saying, um, what is your coupon code? So if I wanted to, it could be summer sale. I put example as an example. <laughs> you can choose active or inactive percentage or fixed amount. And then you can do a basically the price there. So what I did before for free shipping, since flat rate shipping is $10 for this client, I said $10 fixed amount. I said uh, no max uses, so people can do it, but I said one per customer. Now, if we wanted to, for example, if we're doing a summer sale and a financial uh, year sale, we're doing anything like that, we can actually say this starts at this date. I can future date this. So I can say that I want to do this on the 1st of July. And then I want to set an end date, which is going to be the... Uh, <clears throat> let's say the 31st of July, all right? And I'm also gonna put in a $100 minimum cart value. So I could do 10% off if you spend more than $100 and that's for the month of July, all right? So I'm gonna save that. And now you can see that there's an example coupon code. It's running from the 1st of July to the 31st. It's active, it's been used zero times and we have two codes in there. All right, so that's how you can do that. Automatic discounts are a bit more, uh, I'm not going to say difficult, but essentially you can automatically have a discount at any time. So I'm going to say, you know, if we wanted to do a 10% discount and we could put, you know, all products on sale now, you could add an automatic discount that gets applied to checkout. Now I recommend using coupon codes because it's up to the customer to use those codes. Uh, automatic discounts are nice, but they're not, you know, a necessity. Um, so those are the kind of the ways that I would do it. So we've gone through products, collections, discounts, and we've added your theme. The last real thing to kind of look at is your settings. So in here, you can see that there's all those uh, things that you are you probably should be aware of. Um, there are general settings, which is essentially your store name. You can add your custom domain here, which basically, um, you know, you add in your own your own domain. Let's say that that is the domain you add it in, and then what you'll need to do is change your DNS settings. I'm going to say skip. You're going to need to add in your own DNS settings like this to be able to point to that domain. All right, so we can see that is there. And if I want to find that information again, I could say, uh, get those DNS settings again. All right, now in here, you can password protect the site. I'm going to remove that, doesn't need to be on. Um, and then you can choose what email uh, you want your orders to go from. So I'm going to change this, but we use support at socialgeeks.com.au and then your store currency. All right, so I'm going, to, I'm going to cancel that because uh, we don't need that as of yet, but that's totally fine. So going back to settings, we've got general appearance, which is the um, your logo, your tagline, and any other uh, text that you want to be putting in there. Payments, we've gone through already. So that's Stripe and PayPal, manual payments, and if you want, cryptocurrency. And then lastly, here's quite a cool one. So you can actually link up certain apps if you want to link it up. Now, Printful is probably one of the world's leading dropshipping stores or print-on-demand stores. You can basically link up their products with your designs on them. And if people order them, the uh, Printful team will send that out to your customers straight away. So it's really good for merch. You know, if you have shirts, you have uh, cases, anything like that. And we've actually set this up for social geeks. So we have shirts, hats, and uh, laptop cases, things like that. The last thing is shipping. So what I would recommend doing is putting in um, uh, these types of options. So where are you shipping from? How long does it take you to dispatch your orders? 
what type of shipping you want to offer. So I put in fast, two to seven days is $10. Expedited is $20. And the rest of the world, it's going to be slow, uh, especially right now with the uh, pandemic, $20 for uh, global shipping. And that's flat rate. So, you know, there's not really anything more than that at the moment uh, with this. I assume that this will be updated over time um, to plug into, you know, your, your shipping providers. But again, for a free platform, you can't complain. Things are pretty good here. All right, so the next thing is your checkout. Now, it is important to make sure that you're paying tax. So you can select your country, you can select your state, and you can select your GST or whatever your percentage is. So 10% tax is obviously uh, what we what we charge here in Australia. Now, this client doesn't have GST because they are uh, a nonprofit and they're, they're you know, just getting started. So that's why we're, we're going on this platform. So we're just getting this things uh, going at the moment. And you can also choose whether you want to have like a, a summary. So, you know, if you want to say, you know, please expect delays on shipping or um, please, you know, send us an email. If you have any questions, you can add that in there and then show discount codes on checkout. You can actually show those there. Um, I, I'd say probably don't, um, but you know, that's, that's up to you. Then <laughs> um, the last thing is if you're going through settings, you can actually add in um, users. Um, so I'm going to add in our client here. So they're able to, uh, come in and, and edit their account. So if you do have additional staff or anybody that you want in the account, you can add them in here. The last thing is advanced settings. So meta descriptions for SEO, custom CSS, if you want to do any coding and Google analytics, which we'll definitely be setting up as well. Google analytics just allows, um, us to track e-commerce events from, um, through your Google analytics and how many visitors are coming, how long they're spending, how many people are bouncing. Google analytics is a very useful tool. So um, in fact, what I might do is quickly see if I can link this up. Probably should have prepared this earlier, but you know, this is uh, great for a tutorial. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but Google always bounces me out of different accounts. So I'm just gonna log into my Social Geeks account. Sorry about me moving my face around all over the screen. Hopefully it's not too annoying watching. Dismiss, let's go admin. So if this is new to you um, and you've never used Google Analytics before, uh, essentially Google Analytics is uh, Google's tool for tracking website performance. So what people are doing on your website and things like that. So what I have is a, a agency account, um, which we can transfer clients properties to, uh, and from if they need it, I'm going to call this lane Cove crafts. So what I've done guys is I've just gone into Google analytics. I've gone into the, um, account that I want to set up this property. And I've just said, let's create a new property. So that's a new website. Essentially. Um, I like to make sure that we're doing everything in the right time zones. So we'll do that here and they're based in Sydney. The currency is Australian dollars. Show advanced options. So everything's looking good there. Universal property. All right. So small customer engagement, increase my conversions, analyze my online sales. <clears throat> sure. That's, that's good. Optimize my advertising costs. All right, so Google Analytics is now creating that property. I'm just gonna put in web, link code craft. Oh, I realized that I haven't linked this up yet, so I need to get the domain. All right, so let's just say that this was the domain. I'll have to, <laughs> have to go back and have a look. I need to set this up later, but essentially what you would do is you put in the, the code here. So let's say that this is, um, let's say that this is already done. Um, and I put this in, what I would do is just copy and paste the code for Google analytics in here. So it's just the, uh, essentially the, the UA code or the G code, and that would do the rest. Now, the last thing here is enabling inventory management. I am going to take that because I think this client does very bespoke products and they probably want to make sure that they can, uh, you know, make sure they're not selling too many products or, you know, if they've only got one, uh, then obviously they just want to sell the one. So I'll enable that. And then if we go back to products, I assume now that there will be uh, available stock. Yep. Cool. So that's just been added on. So I'm going to say one of each of these. All right. Perfect. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how easy and quick it is to uh, set up a shop on DShop. The last thing to do is once you've gone through it and you've created all of these things and you've ticked it all up, so you should see a green ticks all across here. Um, you should, maybe not for crypto wallet, but definitely for payment options. Once you've connected that all up and you've put in your shipping, your products, your, you've customized your store, the last thing to do is to publish your changes. Now, what this will do is it will publish your store on the domain that we saw in the general settings. So right now it's just a uh, origin uh, domain, but you can connect your own domain, your custom domain. So for us, it could be socialgeeks.com.au. Uh, we could connect that to the store um, to make it look more professional. I highly recommend doing that because I do think that it's a good idea to do. And you just go into the general settings here, add your custom domain, and then you will need to add some DNS records to your domain in order for it to redirect to your website. And then once you've done that, you've got a brand new website, easy as. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a, a useful tutorial on how to use the Origin D Shop platform. I think it's the future of e-commerce. I'm really hoping that the that we can contribute to the platform and see it grow in the future. Uh, this is just the beginning. So it's a very exciting new platform and uh, keen to see it grow. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment on the video. Um, thanks again, and I hope you have a great day.